hello guys welcome to my channel once again this is tech pba thanks for joining me so in this video i'll take you through how to configure the d-link ac1900 wi-fi router so we'll look at the wi-fi settings we'll change the wi-fi name the ssid and uh, the wi-fi security which is the password we'll look at the we'll configure the local area network settings of the um, wi-fi router and then i'll show you how to set up the router to connect to your isp's um, router for internet access so the first thing we will do is to connect or to connect a network cable one end of a network cable to the ethernet port on the computer you are going to use to configure this router it can be a laptop it can be a desktop um, as shown in the screen right now and then we'll connect the other end of the cable to the back of the d-link ac 1900 um, in this image the area marked in the red you plug the cable in one of those um, ports marked in red at the back of the d-link ac wi-fi router so the next thing we will do is to go onto that pc we connected the cable to right click on the network icon and then select open network area select ethernet and then select change adapter settings and then once you select that you will see the network connections so we'll right click on the ethernet adapter in my case i right click on that and then selected properties so right click on it and select properties when the ethernet properties open you want to double click on the internet protocol version 4 and then over here you will select use the following ip address when you open this particular window the default selection is the obtain an ip address automatically so you would select the use the following ip address we want to set a static ip address on this laptop um, to use to configure the router so the default ip address of the router is 192.168.0.1 so um, you want to set an ip address on the pc you are going to use to configure it to be in the same subnets so in my case i set it to 192.168.0.10 and then the subnet mask is uh, 255.255.255.0 i'll click ok and click ok here and then i'll minimize that minimize that as well and then the next thing is to open a browser i'm going to use the google chrome browser and then you can either type um the url to log into the router by typing http colon forward slash forward slash d link router dot local and then dot at the end of the local press enter and then you will see this um login page for that particular um router the router we are trying to configure you can also use the default IP address of the router, the D-Link router, by typing the 192.168.0.1 in the um, address bar of the Google Chrome browser. And then you will get the same um, page, the login page. The default username is admin, and then the default password is um, empty. So just click login, and then you will see this page. So... Um, when yours is very new you will see a wizard you can either use the wizard to configure your router or you can close it and then use this approach go through this video with me to configure it so click settings and then select wireless and then from there you will see uh, you can see the wi-fi name in bracket ssid so the wi-fi name is also known as the ssid i will um, change mine and call it admin office so this is a a, a router for a, a, a production environment it's a live environment so i'm going to um, blur the password portion of it um, because um, i don't want any issues so click the advanced so i changed the wi-fi name to admin office and then also i changed the password click advanced to look at the advanced settings the security settings i will leave the defaults um, the default are just good and then click the save button to save your changes give it some 25 seconds to um, save the changes by rebooting the router and then once it reboots it will 
take you straight into the um, router page again the lo uh, the configuration page again and then when you click on the network icon at the bottom right hand side of your pc you can see we can see that um, the router we just um, set up or the wi-fi name we just give the to the router has showed up and then i can connect to it by clicking on it and then typing the password i just um set on the um routers um, configuration page so i typed i clicked on it and then i typed the password in the password box and now we can see that when we click on the network icon again we can see that the admin office is now connected so it shows down there that disconnect which means that the, the this particular laptop is connected to the wi-fi um, we just um, configured so the next thing is to click settings and then click network this is where we set the local area network settings of this um, router so the default as we as i said earlier is the default ip address the lan ip address is 192.168.0.1 and then the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 select settings again and then um so in the network area um you can also um, put your um, local domain name on it so i will click the advanced settings and then under the advanced settings we have what we call the dhcp server so a dhcp server um, basically assigns ip ip addresses to any device that connects to this um, wi-fi um router so an ip address is basically an address that uh, computers and other devices on a network use to communicate with each other so to connect to a network you need an ip address and a dhcp server is what takes care of that it's what assigns I these ip addresses to every device that connects to a network and in this case any device that connects to this wi-fi router would be assigned an ip address in that range the specified range there the 192.168.0.100 to 192.168.0.199 you can always change the range so on my network i already have a dhcp server i have a computer acting as a dhcp server so i would disable the dhcp server and then click save if you don't have a dhcp server on your network you you want to leave the dhcp server feature enabled you don't have to disable it so mine i have so i disabled it and then click save so the next thing i'll do is to click the settings again and then this time i will select the internet um, option in the drop down so if you are using your wi-fi the d-link router as a as an access point this um selection is what you need to have on your on your router which is the dynamic ip address dhcp so it says my internet connection is dynamic ip address or dhcp so if you are setting up your router as a as an access point you just leave it this way and then the router will serve as an access point but if you are connecting this router to a an isp an internet service providers um, router you need to click the arrow down and then select the static ip address once you select the static ip address you want to um, enter the ip address the subnet mask the default gateway the primary dns server the secondary dns server into those um, respective um, boxes and then these addresses must have been provided by your isp um, to you so you need these ip addresses from your isp to configure this particular um, settings or the static settings or the internet settings of your router so once you are sure that all your information are good you can then click the save button and then give it some time to save save the settings so from here you want to unplug the cable from any of the four ports on the left in my case i plugged it to the port one and then plug that same cable 
in the yellow ports at the back of the Wi-Fi router. Once you are done doing that, plug the other end of the same cable into the ISP's um, internet router as shown in the image above. So in my case, I plugged it into that particular um, port on my ISP's um, router. And then once you do that, once you connect those two cables to the appropriate um, ports on the respective devices, you will see that um, this time your internet will start um, working. So to test my internet right now, um, I will use the command prompt and then I will type ping space 8.8.8.8 space minus T. Um, that's one way you can text if your internet works. The 8.8 address is a uh, Google DNS. So in case when you have that reply that I had, you would automatically um, know that um, your internet is working. So I also use the browser to check the internet by going on to Amazon.com. And then you can see that um, the internet is working. I'm able to see stuff on Amazon. And so the internet is working um, very well so our router has been connected successfully to connect to the isp's um, router or the internet service providers router so i will log in again into the the d-link router by typing the same address in the address box and then you can see that currently there is no password when we are logging into the router that is what we are also going to change so you can see that um, internet is connected um, we can see that um, internet um, which represents the isp and then the wi-fi router is in the middle and then you can see that connected client is one which is my my device so to change the router login password you want to select management at the top and then select system admin and then we can see the admin password um, even though there is not a password on the login um, the, there was some dots in the password box so i'll enter the password i want to set on the login and then um, once i enter the password i'll click the save button and give it some time to save the settings so this is the password when you are logging into the router um, it will ask you for to enter it before you can log into the router you need this is very important to do because you don't want any unauthorized access to your router somebody can log in if you don't have any password on it and then um, make changes on the router so i will try to log in again and then this time when i click login because i have entered i have put a password on it it's asking it's saying that the password is incorrect so i'll go ahead and then enter the password i just put on the login and then click the login and it's asking me to save the password i'll ignore it and then it's also asking to um, install the firmware i'll ignore this one as well in a subsequent video i will show you how to update the firmware on your wi-fi router the d-link ac 1900 router so we can see that now we are logged in we are logged back into the router and then we have the internet um, settings or the internet addresses the internet information um, this information pertains the isps our isps um, addresses the addresses that they give us so that basically is that so you can also make changes other changes by selecting the features go through the features you can go through the management settings the time and schedule um, that is where you would use to upgrade um, the firmware so when you click on the upgrade you can see that you can check for a new firmware and then you can select the firmware when you download it manually and then upgrade manually so basically that is that for now we have successfully configured this d-link ac1900 wi-fi router so yes guys kindly click on the subscribe button to support us to bring you more of such videos click the like button if this video was helpful turn on notifications for all to be the first to watch my videos every time i upload them
share this video very important guys to help grow this community and then i will see you in another video thank you bye